Hey, what's up everyone? This is Dom, and today we're taking a look at the top 15 Force Touch features with Apple's new trackpad. Force Touch trackpads bring along a new feature called Force Click. A Force Click is a click with a continued press that will perform different features within different apps. This trackpad is pressure sensitive and doesn't actually move when you click on it. Instead, small vibrations simulate a click and can sense the amount of pressure being applied. But as I mentioned, with Force Clicks, we now have expanded functionality in OS X. Of course, you can disable the feature altogether within the settings or set the pressure sensitivity, but honestly, these force click features are pretty cool and will be customizable via developer APIs in the future. So without any further delay, let's go ahead and get into the top 15 force click actions found on Apple's 2015 MacBooks. 1. Rename any label. That's right, you can click on any label anywhere and have the ability to rename it. It's pretty much that simple, so if you have a label on a folder or a file or anything like that, you can rename it. Two, preview any file. You know that cute little preview window that you could pop up with the space bar when selecting any file? Well, now you can force click on it and pull up that preview window just as easily. And it's a pretty great feature in my opinion. Three, preview calendar events. So when you're in the calendar, if you have an event showing on a day, you can force click on it and show the details of that specific event. Four, force click on any date or time to create a new calendar event. So wherever you may be, whether that's an email or a web page, if you force click on a date or time, it'll automatically initiate a new calendar event. Five, drop a pin in maps. And this is pretty self-explanatory. Anywhere you force click within the maps app will drop a pin. Six, pressure sensitive zoom in maps. And you see those little buttons down there in the bottom corner? Well, depending on how much pressure you put on the trackpad, will change the rate at which it zooms in or out. Seven, look up definitions. This one's pretty much as straightforward as it gets. If you force click on any word anywhere, it will pull up the definition of it. Eight, pressure sensitive fast forward. So if you wanna fast forward through a video that you're watching in quick time, depending on how much pressure you apply to the trackpad, will change the speed at which it fast forwards or rewinds. Nine, show all windows. So if you have an app open on the dock, if you force click on it, it will actually bring up all of the windows that are related to that app. Very simple shortcut and easy to do. 10, right click on certain dock icons. So all the icons over here on the far right side, if you force click on them, it will simulate a right click. And I guess overall that just saves you a little bit of time and maybe a finger. 11, edit contacts. Anywhere you see a contact or a name, you can force click on the text box to edit all of the details. Pretty much that simple. 12, add new contacts. So anywhere you see an email address or a phone number, if you force click on it, it will bring up a dialogue that will allow you to add that user as a new contact. 13. Preview a link. Unfortunately, this is for Safari only at the moment, but if you force click on any link within Safari or any link within a notepad or an email or anything like that, pretty much anywhere, it will allow you to preview that web page in a mini Safari window, which is one of my favorites. 14. Show do not disturb options. So if you're in the messages app and force click on one of the conversations, it will bring up the do not disturb option right there. And you also do have the ability to FaceTime or call that user. And finally, 15, pressure sensitive drawing. Now, currently this only works within the preview app, but hopefully it'll make its way to other apps for Mac. But as you could imagine, the harder you press on the trackpad, the thicker the line gets and the lighter you press, the thinner it gets. I like the pressure sensitivity thing. And I like all of these force click features that come along with OS 10 and the new 2015 MacBooks. But what do you think about all of this force click stuff? Is this something that you're gonna actually use let me know which of these top 15 were your favorite in the comments section below. And if you enjoyed this video, please feel free to leave it a thumbs up. Also, if you want to see my unboxing and overview of the brand new 2015 13-inch MacBook Pro with Retina display, be sure to check out the link below. And if you're not already subscribed for more videos like this in the future. Thank you very much for watching everybody. I really appreciate it. This is Dom and have a great day.